Welcome again to the Glad Learning Byte program. The nature of security has been changing, hasn't it? From a bouncer type bash up the bad guy to a proactive customer service focus. Let's see what it means for today's security officers. But this is such a big topic. What does it really mean though, customer service? It means satisfying reasonable requests, being friendly and proactive, that is taking the initiative, and helping others within your company. That internal customer service is so important. It also involves following up promptly. But we're going to focus on being friendly and proactive because this is the heart of it. Security officers are expected to behave in a way that shows that customer service is a priority. This involves being polite, that is, courteous and respectful, helpful, and always alert to the safety and welfare of others. Your personal conduct, that is, how you act as an individual, is also a part of good customer service. Here's key point number one. We're going to have two. Most people will look to you for advice or direction. If we respect people, then we will naturally be polite and helpful. Give help where you can. And if you're not sure of how to help, ask your supervisor or key centre personnel for assistance. In some cases, you'll need to be alert or encourage people to change what they're doing because this can affect others or breach site regulations. In dealing with these situations, your aim should be to explain what standards or safety procedures are in place, because sometimes people just don't know. You need to look for a non-violent, non-confrontational option. We don't want a big blow up. And lastly, allow people enough time to respond positively. Some people they just need time for the cogs to turn, isn't it? Is it in their head to, to think it through? Now there are situations where your responsibilities may need to be acted. And these are things like observances of site regulations or WHS procedures. It could be conditions of entry to a site or premises, for example, photo ID. It could be uh, loitering, congregating or disrupting others. More on that coming up. But also as a warden during emergency situations. This is an important time because it's very stressful. Let's look at some more on that. In the case of an emergency, officers can show good customer service in two key ways. And it's important we know what these are because the opposite is just to run out first. Now, we know you're not going to do that. But you need to know clearly what to do. And it's only when we do that we won't panic. We won't do something silly like go and lock all the doors. So what do we need to do? Direct people calmly and in an orderly way to the safest exit. And secondly, provide first aid and support until emergency services arrive. Now, key point one was be polite and helpful. Here's key point two. This is core to your security guard training. So we could be here all day. But one thing we want to highlight in cases where media people seek information, redirect all inquiries to a nominated security manager. They can be sneaky. Oh, can I just ask you a few questions? Don't make any other comments under any circumstances. Some sites even have a script that you need to repeat in the case of media inquiries. Any complaint should be treated seriously, requiring attention. Examples of serious complaints that should be brought to the immediate attention of a senior officer include unresolved actions by tenants or their employees. These are problems that you can't sort out and fix. Unresolved actions by contractors or their staff. Actions or lack of action by a security officer. Something they did or didn't do. And this is more difficult because this is fellow staff. So if a person makes a complaint and leaves their contact details, inform them of the outcome as soon as possible. That follow through makes all the difference 
in lifting good customer service to excellent customer service. Hey, before I go, I want to give you the grumpy people challenge. Look at grumpy people as a challenge. Don't just get all stressed. Don't let them make you grumpy. Don't let them control you like that. I challenge you to find how to stay happy and even make them less grumpy. Think about the emotions. Think, what am I feeling? How do they feel? What are they thinking? So don't let grumpy, angry people control you. Okay, that's the grumpy people challenge. Let me know how it goes. What do security officers need to do? Be friendly and helpful and people will trust you. Build that rapport. Look after people, keep them safe. Be polite and helpful. Monitor those people causing trouble and of course follow up. Hey, thanks again for joining us. Don't forget to complete the short test below. And one last thing, we'd love to hear your comments and the Grumpy Challenge. So send us an email to feedback at learningsphere.com.au with your thoughts.